Hey guys, I'm VG Mike. Welcome to a Yandere, like an official Yandere simulator visual novel called Burning Love. Originally, this was supposed to be an April Fool's uh, like prank video because Yandere uh, developer does release like a few of these per year. Uh, well, I don't know. I guess I guess they release a few on April's Fool or April's Fools. I cannot. I can't talk today. I guess Yandere developer releases a few April Fools like uh, games, you know, per year on on April Fools. I'm not really sure how it works. But he's done like a Mario game and uh, it's a Kuderi simulator. But anyway, this is Burning Love. Originally, this was supposed to come on April Fools, but I guess it's late. And this was actually worked on by a few talented people and not just yeah, Yandere developer. But hey, it's a visual novel. You guys know I like visual novels on my channel, so let's go ahead and start it up, guys. Oh, what is your name? Sakura? Scrub Lord is appropriate. I'm definitely going to pick that. Okay, so our name is Scrub Lord, guys. I think that's pretty fitting. Let's pick it out here. Oh, phew. Almost 5 o'clock. At least this is the last room I have to check. So I guess we're, we're a janitor, pretty much. I think we're, we're cleaning, basically, Academy High. Someone's got to clean up all that blood. It sure isn't going to be Yandere Chan, because, you know, we'll make the messes, but cleaning it sucks. A knife? What's the knife doing in here? And what is it doing on the floor? They don't know. They don't know this school very well, do they? They're probably a new, new janitor. I guess we're a new janitor. Let's pick it up. I should probably take it and bring it to the teacher or something. Hmm, I mean, it looks so fancy. Isn't this supposed to be in that creepy skull? That's kind of a shame. It looks really cool, huh? Oh god, there's blood on the other side of it. What the? It even looks fresh. Uh, stick it in the skull. Because why would we just go tell the teacher? Then, then it's game over. Screw that. I mean, no one will see the blood if it's in the skull, right? So let's just hide it. Because if I was a janitor and I seen a freaking bloody knife, I would definitely just hide it. That doesn't look suspicious at all. There, huh? Ah. <laughs> My sound effect, guys. <laughs> where am I? Oh, I think we know where we're at. Ah, who, what? Monsters. A mortal. Yeah. Ooh, voice acting. How curious. Nice. What? Who is he? Why is his head on fire? <laughs> I think it's actually supposed to be Senpai, I think. And why do I feel like seriously making out with him? Like, oh my god, that, that, I'm just gonna have a burning. Burning. <laughs> my heart is burning. A burning passion. <laughs> why have you come here, I wonder? Do you have a fascination with the occult? Or have you come here seeking power? I've came to seek power, obviously, I'm a janitor. Uh, I'm interested in you, babe. <laughs> oh. Are you? What a pity. I am not interested in you at all. Oh, wow, we just got turned down. Wow, my heart. Boring creatures. Tell me, why should I consider you to be worthy of my time? Oh, well, because janitors actually make pretty good money. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Have you seen this body? Come on. Uh, I don't understand. I'm interested in you, so why aren't you interested in me? I... What? What do you mean? Oh, what the heck? You're sexy! What? What the heck? Watch your tongue, mortal! Do you have any idea who you are speaking to? No. Some sort of flame demon. Or bean demon. What? Oh, he changed colors. Yes. It's not my name! You are unworthy to hear my true name! But you will address me as the Flame Demon! Do I have fiends in my hands? Do I have a fiend for a head? No! I have flames! I am the Flame Demon! Get it right! I'm so- I'm just not good with names. What's your name again? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Well, you can call me Scrub Lord! Because that's my name! You better get it right. <sighs> It affects a human. <sighs> You've caused me to lose my composure. I'm so sorry. Let me make it up to you with the date, because we just don't take hints. <laughs> and why exactly would I desire to do such a thing? Because, like I said, I make pretty good money. Because you'll have a great time. Yeah, of course, come on. We'll go to all the fun places in town. I have no reason to believe your words. I'll make a deal with you. If you go on a date with me, and you don't have any fun, I'll give you my soul. Sounds like a great, great exchange. Foolish human. You do not <laughs> grasp the consequences of your proposal. Do you truly wish you wager your eternal soul 
Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Come on. Uh, which one should we pick? Uh, how about yep? Let's get let's get real lazy with it. I can't get over this feeling inside. I need to date this demon. Please, oh please, say yes. Is this human serious? I think the funny part is that he's considering it. So be it, foolish mortal. Nah, he will. I agree to your terms. There is no backing out of this. Look at what am I gonna now. wear? What am I gonna wear? I will go on a <clears throat> date <laughs> with like you, and if I do not enjoy myself, I will consume your soul. Okay, so hopefully he's not a liar because you know he's a demon. For sure, he wouldn't lie because demons wouldn't lie to you, right? This is a great deal, Dale. Yes, he said yes. This is going to be so much fun. So. Um, oh, now it's awkward. <laughs> where are we going? Oh, uh, let's go to let's go to let's go to dinner because I'm Very hungry. Well. I'm really angry. We will now commence kidding. our date. Do not disappoint me, human. Uh, oh god, the background this though <laughs> is pleasant. Nice. I love that chain link fence. <laughs> really it makes us feel like we're in prison. It's a nice place, perfect for a date. <laughs> Do not think you have won, human. I am not yet enjoying myself. <laughs> I like how you're Proceed just like this all the time. Just... Attempts to woo me. Do your worst. Like, can other people see him? I don't know. All right, Flame Demon, you asked for it. I'm gonna make you enjoy yourself so good you're going to regret it. Oh, so who were you before you were a demon? You know, tell me a little bit about yourself, honey. The year I first drew breath was 1431. Dang. I was born into a wealthy family. I enjoyed a life of privilege and luxury. Okay, so what point did it go wrong? Local peasants, unsatisfied with their lot in life, grew envious of my family's wealth. Eventually, mm -hmm. their envy turned to rage. I'm guessing this guy was greedy. That's why he's a, a, you know, a demon. One day, a mob of peasants marched into my family's manor, intent on stealing our valuables. My mother and father Attempted to resist, but they want no match for dozens of armed peasants. He keeps calling them peasants. That's what tells me he's greedy. The peasants. Oh, he's beat sad. My parents savagely. When my mother and father were at the brink of death, peasants burned them alive. Dear God, you guys did something. You guys just did something to make them mad. Afterwards, peasants raided the manor, taking everything of value. When they were finished. They burned the manor to the ground. I hid during the peasants' assault, and so I escaped without injury. However, I witnessed my parents beaten and burned alive. That sucks. <laughs> my desire to take vengeance on the peasants was so strong that I performed a demonic ritual to commune with a demon. Oh, that's the how it happened. Took an interest in me. Did you go on a date with him too? And I performed a sacrifice. The demon granted me the power to control fire. I was reborn into the form that you see before you. I took my vengeance. The peasants experienced everything that they subjected my parents to. And more. Well, you know, it wasn't right for them to burn down and kill your parents, but you know, they... They, I'm sure they have a heart too. Please don't, please don't burn me. <laughs> I had become a being that was no longer welcome in the human world. And so once my vengeance was complete, I left the human world for the demon realm. Oh, that's, that's a nice place to be. Oh, I love the music change. So, um, wh why is your head on fire? When a human becomes a demon, they are reborn into a more appropriate form. This form was the most appropriate one for me, considering the circumstances of my ascension to demonhood. Well, it's it's a nice look on you, I have but to say what? that for sure. That's a ridiculous statement. It's true though. <sighs> How bothersome. I got him a little flustered. Good, let's keep at it guys. Come on, let's keep at it. Oh, where do demons come from? You truly are an ignorant human. To think that you made it this far without knowing <laughs> such a thing. Yeah, because we don't know where they come from. At least I can learn from a cool demon like you. What is this? I, oh, I did not see that red thing on the side. Don't say anything. Yeah, let's say the first thing. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> He's getting so, like, blush. They should give him little lines. That'd be funny. Yes, you are given a great privilege to learn from a demon like me. 
<laughs> Playing on his pride, great strategy. Go me! A demon is a human that has discarded their humanity in exchange for great power. A very specific set of circumstances are required in order for a human to become a demon. First, a human must somehow commune with a demon. The human must express their desire to forsake humanity and embrace demonhood. Oh, I see. If the demon decides that the human is worthy, the demon will offer a deal. Okay. The human must perform a great sacrifice. I think that's what. After are we, we're going to become a demon after this, aren't we? The demon will grant the human the power that. I they just desire. want to click classrooms. It is extremely uncommon for a demon to judge a human to be worthy of demonhood. What do you do all day in the demon realm? Or what do you do? How many of your other demons are in the demon realm? Why did I only see three demons when I entered the demon there realm? There were yes. actually dozens of other demons present. But only three chose to make themselves visible to you. Oh, really? Really now? <laughs> uh, how many other demons I are in the demon I never bothered realm? to count the exact number, but I know that there are over 100 of us. Ooh, I wonder if that's actually real in the actual Yandere simulator. Are there any as amazing as you, mister? Where is this coming from? <laughs> I'm just curious. You're so interesting and stuff. I doubt any other demon is like you. <sighs> <laughs> he's so adorable and he's flustered and he's sweating. <laughs> How does that work? Uh, what do you do all day in the demon realm? Yeah, that's the last thing we can say. There are very few activities available within the demon realm. From the demon realm. One can gaze upon any person or location in the human world. It is quite amusing. Ah, yes, indeed. It is much like your human invention, the television. Have you ever taken any interest to a human? Why yes. would I do that? Oh, that means it's not interested in us. I don't know, I mean, it would be more fun than just watching them, don't you think? I've never been interested in humans like that. I am only interested in their souls. Oh god, see? So we're basically like Yandere Chan and he's senpai. He's not gonna notice us. Or will he? We're going to make him notice us. Their souls. A demon's power and lifespan are determined by the number of human souls that demon has consumed. When my power wanes, I strike a bargain with a human in order to acquire the soul. So that I may continue living. Some demons prefer to make their lives more interesting by gambling their souls amongst one another. Gambling with a foolish or gullible demon is an excellent way to quickly acquire a few human souls. Oh, so you're smart. Some demons are agreeable, and fraternizing with them can be enjoyable. However, most demons do not make good company. Who are the other two demons that I saw with you? Yes. Are you asking for their names? A demon's name is a closely guarded secret. To know a demon's human birth name is to have power over that demon. I will not give you such power. Ah, uh, I thought we, we were close enough for this. I thought we got to this step. When a human achieves demonhood, they are granted a title that reflects their nature. I am the Flame Demon. The two demons who accompanied me when you enter the demon realm are known as the Pain Demon and the Lust Demon. What are the backstories of the two other demons I saw? Oh, no, well, no, 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 let's not, let's not get into that boring stuff. So, are you enjoying yourself yet, honey? <laughs> How presumptuous that you would assume I enjoy being questioned. <laughs> Make no mistake, I take little enjoyment in Dang your it. curiosity. Crap, this tape might be a bust. Gotta think of something fast. I'd like to mention that you look hot. I will <laughs> like, not I be thought we made that joke. such remarks. If you are attempting to make me swoon, you are failing miserably, <laughs> I... I what? Oh, it is a jest. You are referencing the fact that I have a flame in my face. <laughs> you see, this guy's got jokes. Your jests are of poor quality, human. I remain thoroughly unwound. You make my heart burn for you. Uh, <laughs> okay, you must be burning up at that. You make my heart burn for you, how about that? Your flame puns do not affect me! <laughs> he knows the word pun, yes! I'm being serious. I've never felt this way about anyone before. You're special to me. I want to be with you, flame demon. My feelings for you are so great, they burn hotter than any flame you could conjure. If you think that I'm not serious, you could take my soul right now, and I won't try to stop you. I... Yes? I... Ah, <laughs> yes! There we go, guys! Human. This date was... Oh, God, I love it. 
I don't know how <laughs> you've done it, human. But somehow, within the span of a single day, you've made me feel fond of oh, you. Oh god, this took a turn, guys. Have I been seduced? Bewitched? <laughs> Dare I say it? Wooed. Oh yeah, you bet you're wooed, because I'm wooed right now. I want to belong to you. What? And I want you so to belong to me. I want you to stay by my side for all eternity. Oh yes, yes. I want to be held in your embrace until the end of time. Oh, and you will. I thought that I no longer had a heart to give. But my heart is now yours. Oh my god, it's so sweet. Congratulations, human. You've conquered a demon. I feel like it went really hard to really easy real fast. I don't know if this is just me, guys. What are we going to do now? Well, I don't know. I don't really know how this is going to work because, like, you know, the flames and all. Like, you can't kiss. You can't hold hands. You can't even touch. You can't touch. So I don't know how that's going to work. But we'll figure it out, I guess, because love will find a way. Oh, <laughs> kill everyone at my school with fire. Am I? I thought we were a janitor. Am I? Am I tripping? I'm so stupid. <laughs> we're not a janitor. We're just a student that's cleaning. That's it. But we're not Yandere Chan, right? I'm pretty sure. Make out super hard. Conquer the demon realm. Or kill everyone at my school with fire. So this is one of the three endings, I'm guessing. Um, well, come on, guys. We've already went the... We, I just want to see how making out's going to work. Because it's flames, for God's sake. Let's do it. the way you think. <laughs> I think that's it, guys. Uh, I gotta say, I really enjoyed this. It was it was pretty funny. I kind of jumped into this. I don't know if we can actually get like other endings. Maybe I don't know if we can actually interact with the other demons or whatever. But if you guys want to see me make another episode of this, I might try it out and see if it's even worthwhile. Um, I really enjoyed this, and I think it was it would have been awesome on April Fools, but still, it's awesome now. And honestly, I'd really like to see more uh, from this creator because the voice acting is really, really awesome. The drawings, I really like it. Anyway, guys, if this was not enough for you guys, if you're going to watch more Young Daddy Simulator, I do videos like every Saturday, guys. Click this I up here that will take you to the playlist for Young Daddy Simulator. Please do subscribe if you have not subscribed already. If you like this video and you like my other videos, guys, I'm Vigio Mike. I will see you, Scrubs, in the next episode. Bye, guys. I like the way you think.